No one is you, and that's your power. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. And so you remember, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Hey, uh, Poison Ivy with a seven. How are you? Let me put in the thing, the thing, the topic. How are you doing today? How waxing prevents, I'm writing it in right now, prevents Good. I'm glad you're doing good on this wonderful Friday. Prevents ingrown hair bumps. So today we're talking about how waxing, we're going to have basically a discussion on how waxing prevents ingrown hair bumps. Hair bumps. Hey Fox. Foxy, how are you doing? Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. How waxing prevents ingrown hair bumps. Boom. Okay. Going to pin it. It'll pin. Let's see. This will pin. Uh, it's not pinning. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. Hey, Sinet. How are you? How's your Friday going? <laughs> I move this over. All right, welcome to the Three View Action Show. How are you? How everyone's doing good. I hope on this Friday back at it i've been traveling so that's why i have not been in look at these cute side note my mom is a stampin up demonstrator and so she made me a few of these for my clients and i just think these are so cute hey bear and lush company how are you hey brandy mm, hey brandy welcome to the 3b waxing show um these are just adorable little things to give clients so I only have a few of them so if you come in today you'll get one and you'll get a uh, one of these and then there's also because I have a very little bit of these I have these little ones that she made that have postcards to them so if you come in today you'll get a Valentine's gift and then as well as a uh, exfoliating gloves so that said uh, tired but good well it's good that you're good i know well welcome to the waxing show i'm gonna get right into what we're talking about today is um the topic is how waxy prevents ingrown hair bumps i'll talk a little bit about how i even got into this with my story and then talk about ways that waxing can help you if you suffer from ingrowns boils uh those kind of things um even men who suffer from hair bumps and those kinds of things. So, welcome to the 3B Action Show. Welcome to the 3B Action Show. And so you remember, welcome to the 3B Action Show. I'm Becca, your pro waxer and skin therapist. Since 2010, I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, ingrowns through waxing and chemical peels in Santa Ana, California. I have my own product line that's been sold in the U.S., the U.K., Canada, and the A.E., that's my exfoliating pads, which I have the acne and grown pads and the face enzyme pads that are good for face and body. They're chemical exfoliants, which chemical exfoliants are good for sensitive skin. I also help estheticians start their own product line, uh, start their own salon suite, help them with things I've done, help them with waxing. And you can stay connected with me through my freebies. If you click the link in the bio, there are a ton of freebies as far as how to take care of your skin, how to find the right products, how to questions about waxing, uh, how to attract clients if you're an esthetician, all those good stuff. So stay connected and thank you for joining. All right, so waxing. Um, I totally love waxing. I started because I had really bad ingrowns. I actually had boils and um, waxing really helped it. And what I try to tell people is that, you know, 
if you're suffering from really bad ingrowns hey legal zoom welcome to the 3b waxing show if you're suffering from ingrown bumps here's some things that related to waxing that you can do first you want to get started with waxing because first of all everyone knows what ingrowns are but i am gonna say a little bit about what they are so ingrowns i've seen come in all different types ingrown bumps ingrown hairs it's basically when the hair follicle is trying to break through the skin and it cannot so it's trying to get through the skin and either if you have curly hair it curls back into the skin and then uh some bacteria forms and you get a bump or it's uh trying to break through the skin and it doesn't break through but you can just see the hair straight under the skin there are times where there isn't no back there's no bacteria and so there's no bump but you can still see the hair that won't come out of the skin a lot of these can get really painful uh, they can get large and become the size of golf ball balls so there are some bumps that are ingrown hairs where there's just a tiny hair but because it's you know blocking um air parts that shouldn't be blocked then it's creating a lot of bacteria and pus and that's why you'll get the big ingrowns that pop and then you'll see like this tiny hair come out sometimes you'll see a long one where it's been growing curled up under the skin for a very long time and you're like oh this is uh an ingrown that's been there for a long time hey bridget welcome to the three boxing good to see you again so um um, am I cold? Am I hot? You guys ever do that where you're like, am I cold? Am I hot? Am I, uh, I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, so that is what ingrown hairs are. Now, ways waxing helps it. Waxing is a good form of exfoliating. It's going to remove the dead layer of skin. And so, when you start waxing, you're removing that dead layer of skin so the hair can come out better. And then if you have ingrown bumps, you're removing that top layer of the bumps so that that pus and stuff can come out or that hair can start coming out. Now, the only thing you don't wanna do is just wax. You would like to wax, you wanna wax consistently. Say you are very prone to ingrowns. I'm familiar with this. I've helped a lot of people uh, get on top of their ingrowns as far as reducing the amount they have i would say that is one of my specialties especially in the brazilian area is because i dealt with it personally and then i would help people who had it but um you definitely need to start going consistently to get waxed i'm gonna even say well usually i say three to four weeks but if you're really prone to ingrowth you may want to try going every two to three weeks and the reason I say that is because uh, your turnover of your skin is so fast that exfoliating that often will help it. And then also exfoliating at home. So if you are you know, prone to ingrowns, you're coming in every two to three weeks, and then you're also using the, uh, the acne and ingrown pads that are chemical exfoliant that are removing away the dead skin, you're going to see a huge improvement in those bumps and those ingrowns. I have seen so many people. It's crazy how many people that have helped by just waxing consistently and using the pads to exfoliate it consistently. It's all about consistency. Um, sometimes people get ingrown so bad that they have to go on antibiotics and that was me years years ago before i uh really got into waxing and you know you can you can change your skin a lot by exfoliating it's i preach it all the time i preach it all the time but it does make a difference uh there's such thing as chemical exfoliants and physical exfoliants you've heard me talk about um, my acne ingrown pads just because they're chemical exfoliants, they're stronger, but they're also good for sensitive skin. But you could do both. You can do physical and chemical. Uh, you, physical is more of your uh, exfoliating gloves like I have here. 
your scrubs, uh, which on Tuesday I'll be talking about the Tree Hut scrub <clears throat> for product highlight by, um, it's by Tree Hut and it's a scrub. It's one I love and I got it for my birthday because that is one of my favorites and so that'll be the product highlight for Tuesday. Um, but there's, there's the brush you can use for physical exfoliation and then one thing you want to do is if you're using a chemical exfoliation and a physical exfoliant you want to see test out what is too much for your skin and what is the perfect amount because if you do a physical exfoliant and then do a chemical right after it you could burn your skin or vice versa if you do the chemical first and then the physical so Waxing can really change um, your skin. I've done, I've seen where I've had, you know, someone who's had really bad ingrowns in their underarms. Brazilian is the one I do the most of. But underarms, if you're shaving your underarms and getting bumps, definitely go for waxing. I would say for underarms, go every two weeks with underarms for two months and exfoliate two to three times a week during that time of waxing and you should see a difference in your ingrowns and then also in the color of your underarms. So it should be getting lighter. Another thing that I wanna talk about with um, I just what I wanted to talk about just left my mind um, that ever happened you just totally just gone oh other ways to prevent ingrown especially if you get ingrown on your Brazilian area you want to sleep with no underwear because the friction can cause ingrowns right after you work out you want to get out of your workout clothes as soon as possible and then if you don't have time to uh, shower right away take the acne and ingrown pad and then wipe yourself down that's going to help you uh the glycolic and salicylic will really be good the salicylic will pull out any bacteria in the pores and then the glycolic will eat away at the top dead skin cells and then clean um clean out the sweat and that kind of thing that can cause ingrowns um that those are ways to really prevent ingrowns if you are very prone to them you also just really want to exfoliate really get in the habit um you can change the game of your skin by exfoliating and then another thing as far as waxing with ingrowns is choose i don't go out and get wax but i definitely think you should go out and try hard wax hard wax is gentle on the skin it doesn't take the living uh skin cells i see that it protects the skin better because it saran wraps the hair only and so if you have very sensitive skin you want to look into getting waxed with hard wax it also is less painful any questions any questions any questions I do have an exfoliating guide that if you go to 3B Waxing, 3B Waxing, the number three, the letter B, Waxing, uh, on Instagram, click the link in the bio, and then you should see an exfoliating guide, and that will have all about exfoliation, the differences between it um, that you can download. But then I also have a Brazilian wax guide. I have so many different guides. Um, that you can view so you can get an idea of exfoliation waxing those kind of things and that way you're informed when you come in to your appointment and you and you know uh, a little bit about what's going on even though I explain it you'll still have a better idea so if there's no questions that's all I got for you definitely click the link in the bio and grab um, there's the exfoliating guide. There's the Brazilian wax guide. There's also the ultimate waxing guide that talks about waxing in general. Uh, all these can help you if you are um, 
looking into waxing to help you with your ingrowns, boils, those kind of things. And yeah. So I am in the salon and I have a day today, a day full of things to do. So I am not gonna be on here long. I actually have only been here on here about less than 30 minutes and that's where I'm gonna keep it to. But I hope everyone has a good Friday. I didn't have any announcements. The only major announcement is that the mini course is open for enrollment. If you are an esthetician looking to attract clients in your salon and so it goes into a few things like uh working in canva working events um doing follow-up actually i'm changing it up this weekend so i may not have the events part but uh it is open for enrollment and you can click the link in the bio under and then click under professionals courses and uh classes it will be the second button that says 15 day uh, attract clients course. You can take a look at what's available there. So I hope everyone has a blessed day and that this is helpful. How waxing prevents ingrown hair bumps. I'll see you on Tuesday. Have a good one.